Kenneth Hayes Miller was an American painter known for his contribution to American art in the early to mid 20th century. Born on March 11, 1876, in Oneida, New York, Miller developed a passion for art at an early age. He went on to become a prominent figure in the American art scene, particularly associated with the Ashan School, a group of artists focused on depicting scenes of urban life, often portraying the gritty realities of city existence. Kenneth Hayes Miller was born to James and Eliza Hayes Miller in Oneida, New York. Miller showed an early artistic talent and a deep interest in drawing. His family recognized his passion and encouraged him to pursue his artistic goals. In 1893, Miller enrolled at the Art Students League in New York City. There, he studied under the renowned artists such as William Merritt Chase and Robert Henry, who later became a significant influence on his artistic style. Miller became associated with the Ashcan School, a group of artists that included George Bellows, Edward Hopper, and Robert Henry. The Ashcan School focused on portraying everyday life in New York City, emphasizing the realistic and unembellished aspects of urban existence. Miller's style evolved over the years, blending elements of realism with modernist influences. His work often featured scenes of urban life, including portraits, interiors, and depictions of people engaged in various activities. In addition to his own artistic pursuits, Miller was an influential teacher. He taught at the Art Students League, where he had once been a student himself. His teachings had a lasting impact on several art aspiring artists who went to make significant contributions to American art. Some of his notable works included Crap Game in 1905 is one of Miller's most notable paintings. It captures a moment of intense concentration among the participants in a street gambling game. This work reflects Ashcan school interests in portraying unidealized aspects of urban life. Another notable work is Three Women, made in 1921. This painting exemplifies Miller's exploration of domestic scenes. It features three women engaged in conversation, emphasizing the nuance of interpersonal relationships. Throughout his career, Miller exhibited his works in various solo and group exhibitions, gaining recognition for his contributions to American art. Kenneth Hayes Miller's legacies not only lies on the, his body of work, but also in his role as a teacher and mentor. Many of his students went to become influential artists in their own right. Kenneth Hayes Miller passed away on the 4th of January 1952, leaving behind a significant artistic legacy. His work, while not widely celebrated as, as some of his contemporaries, remains an important part in, in the American art historical narrative. His dedication to portraying the realities of urban life and his influence as a teacher contribute to his lasting impact on the American art scene. Kenneth Hayes Miller's work reflects a dynamic engagement with the artistic currents of his time, showcasing a balance between traditional academic training and the modernist tendencies that emerged in the early 20th century. Here's an analysis of some of the key aspects of Miller's art. Realism and urban scenes. 
As a prominent member of the Ashcan School, Miller embraced the ethos of portraying everyday life in an urban setting. His work often features scenes from the streets of New York City, capturing the vitality and diversity of its inhabitants. Miller's paintings such as Craps Games exhibit a gritty realism portraying unidealized aspects of the urban existence. He depicted subjects like street scenes, tenement life, and the working class, emphasizing the human element in his compositions. Interiors and Domestic Life Miller explored the interior spaces of homes focusing on domestic scenes that revealed the complexities of human relationship and intimacy. Three women, for example. He captures a moment of interaction, delving into the nuance of interpersonal connections of individuals. Blending realism with modernism. Over the course of his career, Miller style has evolved. While rooted on realism, he incorporated elements of modernism into his work. This fusion is evident in his exploration of form, light, and color, demonstrating an openness to progressive artistic trends and demonstrating his evolution of style. Portraiture Miller's portraiture often served as a character studies, capturing the individuality and unique qualities of his subjects. Whether depicting people engaged in daily activities or capturing the expressions of those in his immediate surroundings, he conveyed a deep interest in the human experience. Color palette and technique. While grounded in traditional techniques, Miller adapted modern approaches to color and form using a more modern techniques. His use of color was often expressive and his brush stroke displayed a willingness to experiment and incorporate contemporary trends without entirely abandoning his academic training. Kenneth Hayes Miller's work provided a window to the urban experience of early 20th century America. Through his exploration of diverse subjects and his ability to navigate the changing landscape of art movements, Miller's legacy endures as a testament to his commitment to capturing the essence of time and place. His contribution lies not only in individual paintings he created, but also in his role as a bridge between traditional and modern art. His commitment to portraying the realities of urban lives, coupled with his impact as a teacher, solidify his place in the narrative of American art history. Consequently, Miller's legacy extends beyond his own work. As a teacher at the Art School League, he influenced a generation of artists, including Reginald Marsh and Isabel Bishop. His emphasis on capturing the vitality of everyday life and the human form, form left a lasting mark on his students and, by extension, on the trajectory of American art. Kenneth Heise Miller's artwork has been exhibited in various galleries and institutions throughout his career. While specific details about individual exhibitions may be challenging to compile comprehensively, here are some of the 
general notes on where his work has been showcased. The Art Students League. Miller, having been associated with the Art Student Leagues as both a student and teacher, has participated in numerous exhibitions hosted by the League. These exhibitions would have provided a platform for both emergent and established artists to showcase their work. The National Academy of Design. The National Academy of Design in New York City has a long history of hosting exhibitions featured American artists. Miller, as an active figure in the art scene, would have been included in many exhibitions featured his work solely or as one of many artists whose work is in the sh organized shows done by the National Academy. The Society of Independent Artists Miller, being a part of the Society of Independent Artists, an organization known for its annual exhibitions featuring a wide range of contemporary art, would have included him as the Society aimed to provide a platform for artists to display their work without the interference of a jury. Many New York City or New York State galleries. Given Miller's active involvement in the New York art community, his work has been found in many exhibitions hosted in various galleries in the city and state of New York. They would have included both solo and group exhibitions. Posthumous exhibitions. After his passing in 1952, many retrospective exhibitions and shows dedicated to preserving and celebrating Miller's artistic gallery and legacy would have included his work. These would have taken places in galleries, museums, or educational institutions. <laughs>